Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland. And on this rainy day, it's time to pop into the greenhouse and make an update on my catacetums. Now, as some of you know, I'm growing catacetums for the first time as part of a project, and a number of us are doing the same thing. And it's interesting to see how these difficult orchids work out in the temperate zone. So I think this is my update number four, but without further ado, let's go in and see what's up. And we have them back here. Well, you're never going to guess what. All of them are in flower. Yes, all of them. No, I'm only joking. Not a bit of it. I hope you'll forgive me my little joke. Um, you know, you need to <laughs> relieve the tension a bit when you're going growing plants that are as difficult as these ones. And as you can see, even though it's the 8th of July today, I think, these plants haven't done a whole lot since we last saw them. And the one that's doing best of all is the Fimbriata one, Golden Horizon, which has a good leafy growth above and decent roots. Now, it's actually hard to see how extensive these roots are because they go down into the sphagnum and I really don't want to disturb them. But I've gradually increased watering and when I water it's with full strength um, plant food fertilizer and uh, yeah, I mean it was a bit tricky because you can read lots about when to start watering and that you should start watering gradually but there seems to be very little about what that gradually actually means. So between just wetting the edge of the pot and dosing the thing fully, you know, there's how many weeks, how many days is there between that? I don't know. But what I do know about this plant, although it's doing the best of all my catacetums, it's in no way vigorous or taking off or something that I need to worry about keeping up with its watering. And the second best one is this one here. The, um, this is not actually a catacetum, it's a cross um, called Wine Delight. And I think it has a Mormodis in its parentage. And it's a very, very small division. But you know what? I love it because this one really wants to grow and really wants to do well for me. And it's producing good roots. And this is the one that's doing second best of all. In terms of the other ones, what have we got? This is the project plant, the actual project plant. And as you will recall last time, it produced a second shoot, this one here. I've just covered with a bit of sphagnum. And this shoot is actually producing roots, which I'm not sure we're going to be able to see there. But the original shoot has now produced a root too. Now, I thought there was something wrong with the original shoot and that um, it was damaged in some way and wouldn't produce any roots. But guess what? I was wrong. And it's actually producing a root. But slowly, 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 slowly. So I've just moved the first tray out of the way and we're looking at the second tray, which is the saddest tray of all, really. And in the last update, you'll recall how I ro rotted the new growth on this um, particular cross. It's a cross with a Catacetum piliatum and a Cygnodes or Cygnodes, can't remember which. And I had to cut off the growth because I rotted it from just oh, minimal watering. It was really minimal watering. Well, the good news is that, can we see this? That's where I cut off the growth and the brown there is the cinnamon I put on and somehow it's producing some growth through it which is very strange, but good news, very good news. So, not dead yet, really. <laughs> That's what we say about that. And this one, which I bought from Schwerther this year, quite expensive one, uh, Penang Jumbo Sweetheart, one of the Taiwanese ones. It's got the growth, the little growth, which is progressing, but very slowly. And if we look down there, there's just the beginnings of some roots. 
The green tip is the root. The white things you see underneath are last year's roots, which are dead and had to be cut off. So that's the case with all of these catacetums. And then finally, we have my Galliandra, which had originally a, a growth and has nothing now. And I'm keeping slightly moist because this one is a bit different from um, catacetums, but I don't know what it's going to do. We shall see. And then finally, this one over here, which is a cross between Incurvum and Ten Dragons Night Wasp. And I, they're not doing well. I'm not sure how they're going to go. That little one over there looks very shriveled. I'm not sure if it can survive. And there are some very pale growths at the base of these two um, <laughs> pseudobulbs. So, yeah, I don't know if they can survive. And that is all that my catacetums are doing at the moment. None of them in flower. Not a hint of any, any of it. And since I'm absolutely sick of looking at them, we're going to go out here to the front part of the greenhouse while I just tell you about a little conversation I had with... Oh, isn't that much better? That is much better. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you about a little conversation I had with Ronya on Facebook. And Ronya is one of the, uh, the girls who set up this European project um, to grow a catacetum, for, for several of us to grow a catacetum and have what we're calling a project plant. And Ronya and Sin set this up. And I was chatting with Ronya about her experiences growing um, catacetums. And what she notices as well is that Fimbriatum is doing very well, which is my experience too. So Catacetum Fimbriatum would seem to be quite suited to our temperate zone. Um, Ronya is in Germany and then her other vigorous one is Incurvum I believe which is I have an Incurvum cross but it's not doing so well for me and the third one that we agreed is doing well is the Wine Delight the Cycnodes or Cycnodes Wine Delight now <laughs> That genus seems to be more difficult generally than Catacetum, but there is more Modis in the parentage, and Ronya reckoned that perhaps the Marmodes parentage is what's making that plant just a little bit more easy for us to grow. Anyway, they were just some thoughts I thought I'd share with you, and I'm going to end this video, my Catacetum project plant update, with a shot of my Jesus, because yeah, you know what? These are an easy one to grow. Grow yourself some Desas. Don't bother with the catacetums. Well, that's what I'm saying so far. But of course, I'll persevere with these plants and we'll see how they work out. Thanks very much for watching. That's all for now. Bye.